In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to make donations to Gitcoin grants. So if you're looking to farm airdrops or if you're just looking to give back to the Ethereum community, well, this video is for you. Now, the reason why you might want to make even just small donations to Gitcoin grants for airdrop farming is that in some cases it could be used either as a multiplier to increase the amount of your airdrop or as an anti sybil filter. And so even just by making very small donations of even say one or $2, you could potentially be marking your wallet address as safe from being weeded out of airdrops because of anti sybil measures. And right now there's currently a donation round on Gitcoin live round 19. And so by making even just a couple of small donations, $1 here, $1 there, this could potentially benefit you. So how does it work? Well, Gitcoin essentially takes proposals from people that are going to do things to improve the Ethereum community. And you can go through the different proposals and you can choose ones that you like and make donations to them. Now there's tons of different options for projects that you could donate to, but I will just show you two examples because they each have different ways that you could actually make donations. So I'll open up the Arbitrum donations and I'll open up the Web3 community and education session. Now within each category, there's many different projects, but like I said, it doesn't really matter. You can spend a little time scrolling through it if you find one that you really want to donate to. Otherwise you can just choose any random one and make a small donation that could really make a difference for your airdrop farming. So for example, I found this project right here that's trying to increase the transparency of Arbitrum's governance. And then I found this proposal here from this guy, Zach XBT, who looks for crypto scams and tries to expose them. So I'm gonna make a small donation to each of these different projects. But first what we need to do is connect our wallet to the Gitcoin site which I will do right now using MetaMask. Now, once you are connected to the site, then you can actually add these to your cart if you want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that one to my cart and I'm gonna go ahead and add this one to my cart. There we go. So now I have two items in my cart. Now, one important thing to notice here is that you'll see this up here with this little icon that says 12.79. This is my Gitcoin Passport score. And actually, if I open up the Gitcoin Passport page, yeah, here it is. This is a Gitcoin Passport, and I've made another video on how you can use this to establish your identity as a unique human being. But essentially, if you connect your different social media accounts to your passport, as well as perform certain activities on chain, then you can get a higher Gitcoin Passport score. And once it passes a threshold of 20, then going back over here, you would get increases in the impact of your donation. So let's say if you had a Gitcoin Passport score over 20, then there would be matching donations for you anytime you made a donation on Gitcoin, which would increase your impact. But unfortunately, this account that I'm doing these demos with is too new to qualify for a lot of these different passport stamps. So I won't be able to do that for the purposes of this video here. However, it's something to note and it could increase your impact if you have a Gitcoin Passport score of 20 or higher. Anyways, once you've selected the projects you want to donate to and added them to your cart, you can just open up the cart by clicking on that. And here we have two different items. Now you will notice that they're separated into two categories. And that is because you can make donations on different layer two networks of Ethereum. So for example, the Arbitrum Citizens Retro Funding Round 1 is gonna be a donation, of course, made on the Arbitrum network. However, many of the other project proposals are going to be donations on the public goods network. Now, this isn't a network or a layer two that people generally use a lot for other purposes aside from making donations to Gitcoin. So in many cases, you might actually have to bridge funds to the public goods network in order to make the donation. Now, how you can do that is there is actually a public goods network bridge, and here you can connect your wallet and you can bridge funds from different layer two networks to the public goods network in order to make your donation. However, you can also use other bridges, including layer swap, which if we open up here and connect our wallet, you'll see that we'll be able to make a bridge transaction from Arbitrum 1 to the public goods network. So let me go ahead and make this bridge transaction first so that I can make my donation afterwards. Okay, so now that my bridge transaction has completed, going back to Gitcoin Grants page, I will just make very small donations of just $1 each, but that is really probably all that it takes because you are just basically ticking a box and satisfying the requirement of having made a donation to Gitcoin rounds 19. So once you choose how much you want to donate to each project that you've selected, then you simply hit submit donation and you're gonna have to confirm two transactions 
well, depending on how many you selected. I'm confirming two transactions anyways, one on the PGN layer two and one on the Arbitrum layer two. So let's go ahead and hit checkout. It's first gonna ask us to confirm the PGN one. So we have to switch the network over to PGN and then confirm the transaction. So I'll go ahead and do that. And now that's completed. It's asking me to switch the network to Arbitrum and then confirm the second transaction. So here we go. We're submitting the donation for the Arbitrum network as well. And there you go, that's it. Very simple, I've donated $2 to the Gitcoin rounds of 19, and hopefully this will increase my chances of getting an airdrop, especially at least it will decrease my chances of being weeded out of an airdrop for being a Sybil. Hopefully you found this video useful, and I'll see you later.